What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited for this video because it is actually very highly requested. Although I am not a mom yet, I'm currently pregnant with my first. I thought this would kind of be helpful because for one, if I'm missing a ton of things, a lot of you guys can give me recommendations, but I feel like I could also help out with a lot of things that I've learned through like my mom, aunts, friends that have babies and all that kind of stuff. So if you are currently pregnant and you're looking for advice, this could be cool. And if you're not pregnant and you eventually want to have babies, this is something that you can jot down on a list, which actually I was doing well before I had a baby just because I like to be prepared with things. This video is sponsored by Baby Jogger, which is so exciting because their products are honestly my favorite, so I cannot wait to talk about those. If you guys can't tell by the title, these are baby essentials that I think are really helpful for whether you have a newborn or you have a growing baby, and I'm gonna show you guys things that I got. I have some things here that I got from my baby shower as well as things I've accumulated over time, and then I have some Baby Jogger products back here, which I'm gonna talk about too because I think they're really helpful and definitely essentials that you will need when you have a baby. If I seem out of breath, it is because I'm pregnant and I don't have much room for my lungs. <laughs> so there are three baby jogger products that I wanna talk about first because I'm just a huge fan. The first one being the City Bistro, which is the high chair right there. Then we have this City Sway, which is this little bouncer slash rocker right here. And then we have the City Suite, which I don't know if you could see right behind me, is like a portable playpen type thing, which is so helpful because you guys know we want to travel a lot when we have this baby. Um, we're going to be spending a lot of time at my parents' house and at Dan's parents' house, so it's just easy to have something that you can fold up really easy, pack it up, and head out the door with. So the first thing I want to tell you guys about is the City Bistro from Baby Jogger, which is their high chair. The kitchen that we have right now is pretty spacious, but this isn't our friend home and I don't know what our future kitchen is gonna look like plus I don't want to always have a high chair out just because I like my space to be a bit more minimalistic so the main thing that I loved about this was that it was compactable so you could fold it up really small and just kind of tuck it away either in like a cabinet or the corner or against the wall and it gives you all the space that you want and need and it's very sleek plus it's really lightweight so you can carry it around if you're going from like the kitchen to the dining room or if you're even going to like a family member's house or something super easy to travel with. The tray is actually removable and it's machine washable, which is so good. It also has a five point harness, which makes it really safe for your baby. And then the fabric itself is really, really plush and comfortable. And you can also unsnap it and it's machine washable, which is really helpful. And I know newborn babies don't use a high chair right away, obviously, but I think for myself, I just wanted to invest in it now. So I didn't have to like look for it later and kind of stress about it. I just want to be as prepared as possible. So now I have it. We could fold it up, keep it in our kitchen, ready to go for when the baby is actually ready. Then as for the city sway, which is this cute thing right here with the cute little dangly elephant and horse. Ugh, you guys. Horses are one of my favorite animals. I love elephants, so it's just so cute. Again, something that's really convenient is that you can fold it up there's actually a bag that you could put it in so you could travel with it if you're going to a family member's house. And so there are two options with the City Sway. You can either have it kind of swaying back and forth or you can prop it up and use it as a bouncer. There's also two speed vibrations. So you just pop in the batteries and you can choose between the two. And then of course it has the little arc that goes on top with the dangly little thing so they can look at it and play with it or whatever. And I've read a ton how this in particular is so helpful with babies to keep them relaxed and calm and kind of like they have the comfortable sensation of rocking or bouncing. You don't really have to do it to them. So if you need to work or something, doing laundry or cooking and you just want your baby next to you but you don't want to have to hold them and rock them, you can just put them in there. Make sure you keep an eye on them but they'll be comfy. Again, there's also a harness which is really convenient and then you can also unsnap it and it's easy to wash which all their products are super easy to wash, super easy to travel with as well as the City Suite which is the playpen. It's just three steps in order to use it. So you basically just just snap it open, put the mattress in, and then your baby is ready to play. You don't need any extra parts. It folds up really, really small. It comes with a bag. So again, you can travel with it. Really convenient for people like Dan and myself who travel a lot, but also are gonna spend a lot of time with family. We really want to not always have to like come back home to put our baby to bed. We wanna be able to have them kind of sleep wherever. So if we have that, it's really convenient because the playpen actually transitions into a bassinet, which is is so helpful, especially if you have a newborn. So 
it actually grows with your baby. So right now we can use the bassinet right now. When we have the baby, we can use the bassinet, which kind of props up in the playpen. And then as the baby gets older, it goes down. We'll be able to use that when we are at family events or we are traveling or visiting friends. It's the lightest multi-level play yard that you can buy. So if that's important to you, like it is to me, highly recommend. So if you guys are curious to get any of these products for yourself or check them out for yourselves, I will have links above the fold down below in the description so you guys can check them out. Let me know what you think. I personally think these three products are gonna be like so helpful for me and I just love the convenience of them. It doesn't take much to put them together either. Like you literally just pop it up and it's good. Okay, now on to other things that I think are essentials, but when it comes to a baby, there are a lot of essentials. And I know I'm gonna be missing things because I still don't own everything yet. For example, a changing area. I don't really own that, although I do own a changing pad which looks like this. This is for a newborn, so it's pretty small, but again, it's easy and convenient. So if we were downstairs, I could just like prop this up on the like carpet, change the baby, it's easy to wash. I just think having something that can fold up small, that's easy to wash, that's good to transport from one place to the other is kind of like everything that I'm looking for when it comes to baby stuff. We also do have a bib eventually when they will need one, catches the food here. So cute. Of course, you can't have a baby without diapers. So these little diapers are actually little gifts that were sent to me. I think they're so cute. I don't even know the brand of them because they're tied up in these little things. We have a ton of diapers right now. Like we were gifted so many diapers by family and friends. And trust me, I know newborns go through like 10 to 14 diapers a day. So we're gonna be going through a lot of these. So although I think I have a lot of diapers right now, it's probably gonna last me like two weeks. I also don't know how big our baby's gonna be. So I don't know if they're gonna be a newborn for a certain amount of time or like size one, like I don't know how it works, but I have a ton of diapers, which is the most important thing as well as wipes. Now, so many people have told me that they go through so many of these wipes, just like constantly going through them. And so they're like, you need to stock up on wipes. So that is the one thing that I really asked for when it came to uh, my baby shower was wipes. And I think we have a lot, but I know we're gonna need a lot more. So yeah. And then along the same type of like vibe is something for diaper rash. So I have this cream, which it just says cream for common skin irritations. Um, it's to soothe and protect. Really, really good for diaper rash. So I think it's just like, it's a thick white cream. My mom said this is what she used to use on me. Um, I forget the name of it. She's like, oh yeah, that's exactly like something something paste, which is what I used to use on you all the time. Supposedly works really well. So that's good to have on hand. Then swaddles. I have a ton of swaddles from different companies, different fabrics, and these ones are just really cute. These were also a gift. I like them. They're almost like a linen material and they're lightweight, cute little clouds on them. Um, these are convenient to swaddle your baby, but also to kind of cover yourself if you wanna feed in public or even to put it over your shoulder to burp your baby. I had like three different people tell me how good swaddles are. Then I got a teether, which is so cute. This is made of wood and silicone. So it is more sustainable and it's better for your baby to chew on. Aren't any harsh chemicals and it's really cute. I'm excited. I see these all over Instagram. So I don't even know if my baby's gonna like this. Then a lot of people recommended this brand for washing your baby. So this is moisturizing baby shampoo and wash. I decided to try it out. Okay, on to like the cute little fun parts. I have a ton of these little sleepers. This is actually zero to three months, so it is a tad bigger. I have a ton of these in newborn. I have a ton of these jammies that have legs with like the feet, some of them without the feet. I have sets. I have so many different types of clothes, which I'm so excited to put the baby in. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. I feel like I'm like a kid again, like dressing my dolls. Then of course we got little socks. These were so cute. They were a gift. They have little polar bears on them. Um, we have a ton of socks ready to go. And then of course, some hats because I just love hats. I think it's gonna be so cute. Keep your baby's head warm. And this was a little knotted hat. I don't know where this is from. This is Zara Baby. Can't have a baby without baby books. So this is my favorite book of all time. This makes me cry every single time. This is actually a gift from my aunt. And then I also got the exact same book from my friend, but it's good because I'm gonna leave one at my parents' house and one here. Um, that way they'll be able to read 
the same book if they're gonna be babysitting. I think Dan's parents actually have this book already. I mean, obviously I have a crib. Stroller and car seat, I know, I'm aware I have to get those. I don't own them yet, but I've been shopping around, I'm looking. But yeah, that's definitely a must. And as well as like a baby bathtub thing to wash them in the sink. Just like more books and toys and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that's like basically the essentials of what I have been told so far. If I'm missing anything major, please feel free to comment down below. Okay, yeah, like diaper bag and stuff. Like there are things on my list that I actually don't own yet that I'm in the process of trying to get. For the baby, this is pretty much like the gist of everything that I own so far. I do own things for like postpartum for myself, but as for the baby, this is kind of it. Yeah, that is everything that I own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have anything on your list that was very helpful for you, feel free to comment it down below. Like for example, like let's say a bottle cooler or a, a bottle warmer or a sterilizer or something like that. Like if you can think of something that I haven't mentioned yet, please feel free. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you want to see a video all about like things I got at my baby shower or if you want to see like a full entire baby clothing haul, that's something I could definitely do because I have a lot of baby clothes. I think they're so cute. And again, a huge thank you to Baby Jogger for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I will have links listed down below if you want to check it out for yourself, but I highly, highly recommend them especially if you're someone who is on the go and who's busy and who wants something that's convenient, easy to wash, but also like really helpful for your baby. And I love you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.